Hi Virgos, and this is your 2020 yearly tarot reading forecast with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, in this video, we are going to be talking about a general overview on what you can expect throughout the year of 2020. So, how I do this is that I pick one card per month, which gives us an energy influence of what is about to happen for you for the upcoming year. So it can give you um, things of what you can expect, anticipate, and prepare for so you know how you can navigate the year of 2020. So um, yeah, let us begin with um, the month of January. We do have this Queen of Wands. Now, this Queen of Wands is giving us a message wherein you are going to be a lot more optimistic you have a lot of visions like notice how the queen is actually looking to the right part looking into the future basically so she has a vision maybe you have a lot of ideas that you want to implement in your life this could be in different forms whether it's on your career love life or personal life you have plans that you wanted to accomplish and wanted to do and maybe you have your ideas and how to do it and you are becoming more optimistic with things in your life which is always a positive thing this can also be a situation wherein someone enters your life which gives you a helping hand to um, navigating the first month of the year for you there could be some form of guidance or message that you you will find out which can help you in your ventures as well as we go to february we do have the judgment card and this is a situation where in some form of, of major change is about to enter your life maybe you are going to be entering a life-changing situation maybe you are the one who is going to make a decision or some form of event is going to happen on february that leads to some form of major change major life-changing stuff in your life interestingly enough this judgment card is in between two court cards so this makes me feel that you know the possibility of probably meeting someone um, maybe a love one, a love affair of some kind, maybe a soul connection or a love at first sight scenario. I mean, who knows? Um, it could be an important meeting with um, a person of the opposite sex, whether you're a man or a woman, it really doesn't matter. But it can prove to be a very important event that can really mark something in your life. As we go over to March, this is the Emperor card. So you might have met someone already, or this could be a person that comes into your life, or this could be a situation wherein you are about to plan and venture something in your business, or um, I really don't know. It can be for business, personal life, or, you know, love life you are about to start something. This can also be a situation wherein someone is hesitating, maybe your partner, maybe you are hesitating. Um, even though there are a lot of fiery energy around here, we can see that this man is looking to the past. So maybe trying to figure things out, trying to make sure of things. Like maybe you're, you're being a perfectionist and you know, learning from mistakes, making sure that things in the past don't repeat the same way again. So, uh, which is always a good thing because this year, the theme for everyone is all about the being serious and being matured in life. And this really goes for you too. I kind of feel that a lot of Virgos, you know, you are going to be really maturing with how you handle things, you know, even, especially in the professional field as well. But I kind of feel that this could be someone that enters your life as well, who takes care of you, cares for you, um, someone who is a lot more responsible with things. Or it could be that you are having this trait during this month as well. 
as we go to April, we have this Knight of Wands. So again, this could be a person. This could be a message that comes into you because it's going um, towards uh, the past or coming in towards you. It, you can see the horse is coming, is having, you know, that kind of direction. So let's say if this is you, it's like the Nine of Wands is making its way towards you. So it has that form of energy. So this person, because it is together with the Emperor card, this makes me feel that this person is quite level-headed. It's like that kind of feeling wherein someone enters your life where they look serious. Maybe they are mature, but they, they have that vibration of being young at heart. That kind of energy is possible. This can also be a situation where in a message that you may be waiting or not waiting for comes through. This is also an exciting time where in you are you're open for adventures, you want things to really happen, you really want things to um you want some form of action in your life during this time. So you might be a lot more playful than usual as well because this is the Nine of Wands. So there is a form of impulsiveness and, you know, like a big vibration of energy coming through as well. So when May comes into the situation, we have this Hermit card. So the Hermit card can make a person really, really wise. Though uh, with the energies in place I'm getting here, I kind of feel that this is a situation that make, can make you depressed uh, with all the blue colors, maybe just feeling melancholic or something like that. Or it makes you feel as if your life has been very stagnant and you know you're wanting some form of event wanting some form of action but nothing is really happening concretely or you know there is really something that can make you feel a little bit down a little bit you know icy i would say so this can be a situation wherein um you are doing everything by yourself so there is a sense of feeling alone as well this is the hermit card so you might be feeling isolated or you are isolating yourself as well so there is that form of energy maybe you are focusing on work a, a little bit too much during this time as well that is really possible so um the thing here for you guys to know is that, you know, if you want to have fun, do something fun. If you want to do work, do something that involves work. And if you want to have some form of excitement, don't just do all the work stuff, you know. Find time, find extra time for you to, uh, you know, date around, fool around, go attend parties and all that excuses are just going to be excuses at the end of the day so it's not as if you are meant to be alone or you're alone by itself but you are choosing to be alone for the most part you always have reasons why you're not you cannot be happy so you need to learn um if you are doing something that you know creates some form of self sabotaging behavior or something like that so as we go with June, we have this Eight of Pentacles. So this is about, you know, working through a craft, working through a project, um, and really working hard over something. This is an element of progression in your life. So it may involve career or really any aspects of your life. It is all about, you know, something that is work on progress all at the same time. So it can be a time of productivity. So as we go now to July, we have the chariot card, and this is just telling us that everything is going to be moving forward. And, you know, it's, it's like a green light and things. Your ideas is about to manifest. Your ideas, the things that you have planned during January or you have visioned on, 
you are now on your way to implementing them or you are seeing the results of all the efforts that you have been um, working on the past um, few months, uh, possibly. As we go to August, uh, we have this justice card. So this is about balancing everything and maintaining order in your life. This can also be a form of um, some form of clarity, um, confirmation of a situation, settlement um, from past um, events could come into place. So um, yeah, you might be handling a lot of serious paperwork, you know, paperwork or certain news and events that need some form of seriousness and, I don't know, authority kind of energy to it but this is a justice card so if you had any litigations or anything like that this could be the time to finalize things or work things out now as we go to September we do have the tower card and this has an element of surprise to it so the tower card can be seen as both good and bad because it has, you know, a sudden burst of energy. And as I, I'm connecting with this card, I'm really focused on the fire. So this could be an element of uh, maybe inflammation, could be very strong. Your anger, uh, your mood swings and anger issues can be very strong dur during this time. So um, you need to be careful of that. And if you are in a business situation or an organization, maybe you need to be careful of electricity all at the same time because, you know, there could be fire breakouts that can happen. Hopefully not the case. Um, so, yeah, I'm really focusing on that fire. So impulses are strong, emotions are strong during this time. And, you know, you need to find an outlet if you want to avoid some form of pitfalls. Because sometimes um, we are trying to repress all our emotions and then they end up manifesting in various ways that can, um, that are not helpful for us and not healthy for us as a whole. So, um, as we go to October, we have this Four of Swords, and this is about a time of rest, a time of maybe saying no to things that are not working anymore, especially with a combination of this, this Tower card, which happened a month before. I kind of feel that, you know, this could be a situation that you might need to rest. You might need to um, get your energy back, energy that you have lost. This can be also a time wherein you want to lie low your energy, that kind of situation. Or this, there could just be a stagnancy in your life. This can be also an element of praying and going into spirituality and all those kind of things because maybe you have been too much attached to the material world and you know you are learning some form of lessons right now. As we go to November, we have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is not really the most wonderful card of the deck because it always leads to some form of regrets or feeling down. Feeling, I kind of feel that it's not as if anything bad is going, going to happen. I think this is going to be manifesting more about you having your mood swings. Feeling depressed for some reason. And I don't even know if there is a reason for you to be depressed or if you just have your habit of being depressed. I would say that you are a sensitive soul, Virgo. So there is a need for you to protect yourself as well because maybe you're just absorbing the energies of the people around you. So, um, yeah, and if this is some form of regret or feeling down, feeling sad about what you have lost, um, that is going to be an another story. But just do know that, you know, everything in life is a circle. Things that are up, must come down and if you are down below 
you will eventually go up anyway. So, you know, life moves on. And I'm, I'm not saying that because it is the cliche thing to do or to say. I just kind of feel that, you know, whatever challenge you are going to go through this month, you will be able to get past it. And try just try not to dwell too much on what is not working in your life. And don't focus on the past. Take a look at this Hermit card and this Five of Cups. They're all facing the past area of the reading, not really to the future. So you need to really look into the future to, to see the possibilities on what can happen rather than focusing on what is not happening. And as we go to December, we have the King of Wands. So this is a really wonderful card. It's, it has a lot of productivity to it. Also, this is a form of help that is going to enter your life. This could be a person that is coming for you. This can also be a situation wherein you think someone does not care for you, but in reality, they actually do. They, they are actually looking out for you. Notice that this person is actually looking to the past as well, maybe looking to the queen, that kind of thing. So you might think that there is a big distance between you and a certain person. You might think that they don't care, but in reality, they actually do. They are probably not just the person that shows it in a way that you want it. So, um, yeah, this is also, uh, yeah, like I said, this is also a person that can be very special to you that can come into your life. So all kings are that way anyway. So, um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys, Virgo. I hope you find this reading insightful. And I hope it helped you guys navigating your year of 2020. Oh, and before I forget, you also have the advice card of the uh, Two of Pentacles. And this is about multitasking or handling two things at the same time. So maybe there is a need for balance in your life um, for the year ahead. This can also be a time wherein, you know, you need to learn how to balance work and love, you know. Maybe there there are partnership troubles wherein you're focusing too much on your work and not really um, paying attention to your lover, which creates some form of suffering in that area of your life. So, um, yeah, so the key here is to learn how to balance both in a healthy way. So healthy boundaries are going to be very important for you as you go along the year of 2020. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. And if you'd like a more personal look, personal um, insight into your situation with predictions and detailed reading, similar to this one or even much more, you can go to my website in the stars by Chrissy.com or in the stars by Chrissy.com slash services and you'll see a lot of my reading services over there. And um yeah, I'll see you guys again next time.